Founded in 1888, the Texas League is one of minor league baseball's three AA leagues, the others being the Eastern League and the Southern League. As of 2020, the Texas League is made up of eight teams from four states that are divided into two divisions. In the Texas League, we have one park that's named after two sets of brothers, parks that are named after fast food and soft drink brands, and as always, some that are named after banks. Here are the meanings behind the names of each of the eight ballparks in the Texas League. The newest team in the Texas League is the Amarillo Sod Poodles, who joined the circuit in 2019. The franchise moved into a downtown ballpark that has a simple and non-corporate name, something that is a rarity in baseball today. The ballpark is known as Hodgetown, which was named in honor of former Amarillo Mayor Jerry Hodge. Hodge was pivotal in bringing professional baseball to Amarillo and was named the city's Man of the Year in 2018. Per the team's website, the use of town in Hodgetown relates to the idea of the ballpark being a place for the community to come together. The Arkansas Travelers have been a member of the Texas League since 1966, after a pair of short stints at the AAA level in both the International League and the Pacific Coast League. Since joining the Texas League, the Travelers have played in just two home ballparks during that span. They played at Ray Winder Field through 2006, which was a historic park that was in use for nearly three quarters of a century. That park was named after Winder, a former owner of the team. At the start of 2007, the Travelers moved into a brand new facility, Dickie Stevens Park, which sits close to the Arkansas River in North Little Rock. It's unique in that it's named after multiple people. The Dickey part of the name honors brothers Bill and George Dickey, who both played in the big leagues. Bill, of course, is a member of the Baseball Hall of Fame and regarded as one of the best catchers of all time. And the Stevens part of the ballpark's name is in recognition of another set of brothers, Jackson and Witt Stevens, who were Little Rock businessmen and philanthropists. The coastal Texas city of Corpus Christi got a Texas League franchise in advance of the 2005 season and had a brand new ballpark to move into before they began play. Whataburger Field, as you might guess, is named because of a naming rights deal with Whataburger. If you aren't from Texas, you might not be familiar with the Whataburger brand, but there's no way you haven't heard of it if you've even visited the Lone Star State. There are nearly 700 Whataburger locations around Texas, as well as other locations in a handful of other southern states. The fast food chain's first restaurant opened in Corpus Christi in 1950, and of course, the ballpark has a Whataburger concession stand allowing guests to enjoy burgers, fries, onion rings, and other fare. Here's the Texas League ballpark with a corporate name that you'll recognize. The Frisco Rough Riders play in Dr. Pepper Ballpark, a facility that opened in 2007 to coincide with the team's inaugural season in Frisco. When it opened, the park carried the name Dr. Pepper 7-Up Ballpark, and that name lasted until early 2006. In March of that year, the 7-Up part of the name was dropped, leaving the park with the present name of Dr. Pepper Ballpark. Dr. Pepper, which originated in Texas, dates back to 1885, making it the oldest soft drink brand in the country. As you'd expect, Dr. Pepper is widely available throughout the park that bears its name. The naming rights agreement with Dr. Pepper actually expired in 2017, but the team didn't secure another corporate partner. As such, the ballpark's name continues to be Dr. Pepper Ballpark. It might seem hard to believe, but we've actually made it through four Texas League ballparks without finding one with a bank-related name. It's time to change that now. Security Bank Ballpark, home of the Midland Rockhounds, is the first park on our list that holds a naming rights deal with a bank. Security Bank's naming rights agreement with this ballpark began in 2014 and will last for 25 years. The Texas-based bank company dates back nearly a century and is headquartered in Midland. Prior to its current name, the ballpark was called both First American Ballpark and then Citibank Ballpark. The Northwest Arkansas Naturals joined the Texas League in time for the 2008 season and had a brand new ballpark to play in. Arvest Ballpark, as it's been known since it opened, is located in Springdale, Arkansas. The previous fall, the team signed a naming rights agreement with Arvest Bank Group Incorporated, which dates back more than 50 years and has more than 260 banking locations in states such as Arkansas, Missouri, and Oklahoma. The bank extended its naming rights deal in 2017, which will keep the park's current name through the 2027 season. Here's another ballpark that is named after an individual rather than after a corporation, Hammonds Field home of the Springfield Cardinals, is named after John Q. Hammonds. 
He was a Missouri businessman who made his fortune as a hotel developer, developing more than 200 hotels in 40 states during his 50 plus years in the industry. Hammonds was instrumental in building the ballpark that carries his name today. The park opened in 2004 and became home of the Cardinals once they began playing the Texas League a year later. It currently has the largest capacity in the league. The Tulsa Drillers have been a member of the Texas League since 1977, playing in three different home ballparks during that span. Their current home is One Oak Field, which opened at the start of the 2010 season. More than a year before it hosted baseball, the park had a name, thanks to a 20-year naming rights agreement with One Oak. Tulsa-based One Oak was founded in 1906 as a natural gas company that manages several natural gas processing plants and pipelines in Oklahoma and beyond. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click like below, and if you're interested in more content like this, please subscribe.